What's up guys, for Complex News, I'm Natasha Martinez. Love him or hate him, you can't have a conversation about rappers today without mentioning Drake and the impact he has had since he first started out. Drake has become an artist who has shattered so many records that he literally started shattering his own. So it's no surprise that all eyes are on him now that he is ready to enter the next decade of his career. For some time now, there have been whispers about Drake's place at the top. Is he still as impactful as he once was? Will he fall off or stay dominant? The answer could lie in his lucky number six studio album, Certified Lover Boy. The only issue is it's not here yet, so we're left to speculate until the six god delivers. Here's everything we know so far about Drake's Certified Lover Boy. We know it's been delayed since summer 2020. I love you with all my heart. I'm gonna go back to the crib and try and finish this album up so we can turn up some. Drake first teased that he would be releasing a new album at a surprise appearance during a DaBaby concert in December of 2019. Little did he know that he was announcing his album at one of the last concert experiences before COVID-19. The world shut down, but Drake adapted and released Dark Lane demo tapes in April of 2020. Sealing his Instagram caption with a promise, Drake confirmed that fans would only have to wait a few more months for his sixth studio album, stating it would arrive by summer 2020. However, Drake was obviously playing summer games with us because the season came and went without a peep from the artist. In October 2020, Drake gifted us with his own birthday treat, a cinematic trailer for Certified Lover Boy. Each scene played homage to different eras of Drake's career, marked by cover art like So Far Gone, Take Care, and Nothing Was the Same. The closing shots showed a bird's eye view of a building with CLB written on the top and the date January 2021 flashed on screen to close out the trailer. But even after the trailer and a leak from Odell Beckham Jr. saying January 1st, 2021 was the release date, Drake still did not deliver. Instead, he posted an IG story with an explanation that his recent knee injury prevented him from releasing the album so that he could focus on his recovery. He simply said he was looking forward to sharing it with the world in 2021. We know Drake said CLB will have a shorter track list than Scorpion. Drake's fifth studio album, Scorpion, was a heavy lift at 25 tracks. The album was distinctly split into two sides, which parallel the different types of fans that Drake has. There's the rapper Drake fans and the R&B singer Drake fans. It's something that the artist himself is very aware of. I have to do two things every album. I have to give the people that like to hear the singing enough to hold on to, and I have to give LeBron enough bars. It sounds like Drake is done trying to please everyone though. We know from his interview at the 2019 Billboard Music Awards that he always wanted to make a double album, but that he's never doing it again. Then while courtside at a Raptors game in February 2020, Drake talked to TSN reporters about his more realistic approach to this album rather than an epic 20 plus track list. So last album, I went high volume. I did two sides. It was like 20 something songs, which is a lot of songs. This album, I'll probably make it a more realistic offering, something more concise, anywhere, whatever you want. It could be 10, 11 songs, 16. I also do a lot of different types of music, so it's tough to make like a seven song album or something like that. We know Drake's been quiet about who is featured on CLB. Drake hasn't shared who he's about to have featured on the album, but it's Drake. You know we're about to have heavy hitters as well as some up and comers who we can add to our playlist rotation. Obviously, we know that Lil Durk is on the album. They're Track, Laugh Now, Cry Later is the first single released from Certified Lover Boy and debuted at number two on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. We also know that Drake's longtime friend and producer Noah Forty Shabib has his hands in on the project. Other than that, features for CLB remain unknown. However, if we want to speculate, there have been a couple of leaks that happened in the first half of 2020 that we could potentially see pop up officially on the album. There was a leak of a Roddy Rich assisted track titled In The Cut. Roddy hopped on Instagram Live and played the track himself after it was leaked online. Then there was a track featuring Jesse Reyes titled Zodiac Sign that popped up. Neither have been confirmed to be on Certified Lover Boy though. We know that the pressure is on. Drake recognizes that what he delivers with Certified Lover Boy will determine, in the audience's eyes, where his career goes from here. For the last decade, he has remained pretty much untouchable. Can he go much further from here? Ever since Charlemagne the God brought up the idea that the Drake era might be over on his Brilliant Idiots podcast, critics and fans are speculating that he may be falling off. What other gear does he have to switch to? 
According to his Rap Radar interview in 2019, Drake is hyper aware of what this next chapter could mean for his legacy. He mentioned the conversations surrounding Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, and himself. I think for all three of us, it is time to see who can transcend generations much like Jay did or much like Wayne did after the Hot Boys days, going into the Show Me What You Got freestyle when he completely switched up. However, Drake has enough confidence to know that even if Certified Lover Boy isn't initially received well, people will eventually catch up. In November 2020, Drake was in his father's IG Live comments when he decided to interact with some fans. A fan shouted out how much his fourth studio album, Views, has been impacting him throughout the years. Drizzy responded saying, they hated on Views just like they will Certified Lover Boy, but it's music to evolve to. So now, all that's left is to wait and see how CLB will be received from critics and fans. We don't know the exact date Drake will be dropping. According to DJ Academics, Drake reached out to him in January to tell him he was pushing the album back. Apparently, Drake also told him that he won't be dropping any later than April 2021. Noah Forty Should Be pointed out that even as a close collaborator, he doesn't even know when Drake will pull the trigger. But when he does, the world will listen. He's going to pull the trigger when he wants to pull it, but he's got it. He's always got it. He's always ready. If Drake wants to drop the album tomorrow, it's coming out tomorrow. Drake can make the industry move. So while we all impatiently wait for Certified Lover Boy, make sure to subscribe to Complex News on YouTube. For Complex, I'm Natasha Martinez.